Um, I asked this question at CPAC, and Robert, your answer was brilliant, I thought, and I wanted to share it with everyone. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, as a mom of three children, one of the main issues that I'm involved in is in exposing Common Core curriculum. Here in Texas, we've got C-Scope that's in 875 school districts, and can you connect the dots between the um, desensitizing our children to the threats through this education of Common Core curriculum, C-Scope, the textbooks, and all of that? Well, the uh the, the big textbook manufacturers like uh, Houghton Mifflin and the others, Prentice Hall, all, all the uh, people, these, these large publishing firms, that they, they churn out these textbooks for public high schools. And they all are actually dealing with Muslim Brotherhood groups like the uh, Council on Islamic Education to vet their material about Islam. Now, they didn't say, let's go and collaborate with the Muslim Brotherhood, but they wanted to be fair and to uh, promote multiculturalism and all that and diversity. And so they consulted what they thought were reputable Muslim moderate groups to help them make sure that their material on Islam was correct. What they didn't know was that this material, what these groups were Muslim Brotherhood connected, <laughs> and that the material that was being vetted was actually being transformed into what is essentially proselytizing material for Islam. And so if you look at, if you have access to high school history textbooks, it is actually very common, most of them contain material that is sharply critical of Judaism and Christianity and particularly of Christian history and the Crusades and the Inquisition and all that, but say not a word critical about Islam even in connection with some of the most bloody jihads in history in India and elsewhere. And actually there have been some <laughs> materials that even force students into making Islamic professions of faith in order to get the answer right. Uh, I was an expert witness in a case on a workbook that was used in a school district in California a year, few years ago that had true false questions like uh, Allah is the only God and Muhammad is his prophet, true or false. And it didn't say Muslims believe that Allah is the only God and Muhammad is his prophet. They left that part out. And so uh, it's, it's extraordinary how this material is so widely diffused. And its effects are devastating because our children are coming out of school believing exactly what the media wants them to believe and exactly what the Obama administration wants them to believe, that any critical word about Islam or jihad is hateful and bigoted and racist and that Islam is a wonderful thing in, in totality that we ought to welcome uncritically and without any examination of the possibility of jihad activity or Islamic supremacism into our communities. What are we going to do about it? How do we fight that? He asked the question, give us five things. What are we going to do about it? Well, raising awareness is one of the things that we're doing. And 